Hi, this is Carl. Welcome back to my YouTube series. A lot, of, a lot of you can relate to this. You're doing a home project and you have a small piece of wood such as this. You need to drill only one hole in it. But your shop is kind of out of the way right now. What's my solution? I do have a couple of um, battery operated drills. But that's not really, it will work, but not quite exactly what you want to do. Let me show you what I have come up with. It's, well, I didn't come up with it. It's an idea that's decades old. This is what I normally use for my drill press. It's an old Delta drill press. I keep it up under my workbench. Now that's my tabletop model. It's a great wonderful drill press. I, I love this thing. I use it a, quite frequently, but it is a kind of a pain to pull out from under my workbench and set it up and only drilling one or two holes. Sometimes I just sit on the floor right there and drill a hole. So let me show you what I'm going to start doing. You might want to consider this. So let me get set up and I'll be... Okay, like I said a minute ago, this is a decades old idea or tool, but in my opinion it's quite useful. We have the drill stand. There we go. I'm going to turn it sideways so the whole thing fits into the picture. Most people, well, I, I'm not going to say most people, but a lot of us homeowners already have one of these, so you'll know how convenient it is. So, let me go ahead and cut this thing open. It says on the package that it accepts most drop size drills. And my purpose is, I'm going to put a cordless drill in here to make it more convenient for moving around. Like I showed you earlier, my little 8 inch Delta drill press, it is corded. You have to plug it in so you have to be near a an outlet all the time. This one if I put a cordless drill in I do not have to be near an outlet so that's going to be convenient. Take it outside to the driveway if you have to. Drill one or two holes. Take it back in put it in your shelf. This is a clamp for the drill press. I'm going to put that aside and come back to it. There's the basic instructions. Put that aside. We don't need no stinking instructions. Here's the the uh, the heart of the tool. Take this out. Throw it aside. Throw that aside. Here is the base. Put that aside. Now this base, I'm guessing it's six inches by eight inches maybe pretty close enough close enough estimation it has four holes where you can bolt it down to a workbench or a piece of plywood that you can move back and forth bigger piece of plywood has these slots in here so you can put a, a clamp or when you get this set up you can just slide it in i'll go over this in a minute Here's the working mechanism. Now it does feel a little sticky, so this is going to have to be cleaned off. Very easy process to assemble. For the time being, I'm just going to put it in that hole right there. Open up this bag. We have the instructions that we're just going to put aside. little baggie of nuts and bolts and an Allen wrench. Get this opened up. Okay, you'll notice right here 
there is a bolt to tighten up. First, you'll need to get that securely mounted in there. Let me get my wrench and I'll be right back. Let's tighten this up. Okay, 14 millimeter fits on here. Just tighten this down here. This is metric. So, 14 millimeter to tighten that up. Whoops, did something wrong there. Let me loosen that back up. I'll show you what I did wrong. I need to loosen this up. So, we're the bolt clears the hole, insert the post all the way down, then tighten it back up. Those of you who noticed me make that mistake, go ahead and leave your comment, it's okay. We got it fixed. Okay, that's securely tightened up. That is not gonna move. Let me turn this on the side right here. You'll see the Allen wrench will go into this hole. This one right here, you'll need to take this nut off. Let's do this. Let's push this up this way. Take this nut off, and of course, it's on there too tight to be done by hands. So let me get some pliers. I'll be right back. Do any of you have one of these wrenches? Made by Black & Decker. And what it is, is it has different sizes, like a sockets on here. Very helpful tool. Let me give you a little closer up on there. I don't use this as much as I should, but I'm going to use it on here. Only because I saw it in a drawer. And I uh, figured, why not? So I've got the right size. Let me hold this um, bottom one with the pliers there. Open that up a little bit. Let's get this up, opened up right here. Got it loose. on here pretty self-explanatory here put that back in put this in here put the nut back on now when you put this nut back on you, you do not want to tighten it so tight where the handle won't move now this is locking threads on this nut, so that's going to be a help for everybody. So let's tighten that up sufficiently. Get that on there. Tighten that up. The 
There we go. Turn that back up like this. That's good. And since I showed off this tool, I'm going to show you this one too. I've used this one a couple of times. I got it from Harvard Freight for like four bucks. Pretty cool. Nice little tool to have. You don't need anything like this every day, but it's kind of a cool tool to keep in your toolbox for the price. It's a pretty good deal. Move those aside. Now you'll notice right here, there's a stop collar. We're just going to get this Allen wrench and move this down. Let's just move it down to there. That's good enough for right now. Just for showing you this on the video. There we go. So, we have a stop right here. So we want to adjust that stop and we want to move down this carriage down the shaft a little bit. So let's get these loosened up a little bit so this can be moved. There we go. Loosen this one, and the carriage can be moved up and down the post here. And I'm going to kind of eyeball and get that centered up as close as I can, or as close as it needs to be. It doesn't have to be perfect. Tighten this thing back up again. Whoops, wrong side. Here we go. Up. Now we'll need to tighten up this so it doesn't swivel. So that is going to be this one right here so it doesn't swivel. this up there we go good to go so Up, so we have the action of the drill press. And of course I don't have it squared up to the hole, but it's okay. I'm not really showing you any drilling, I'm just showing you the tool itself. Let me get a drill bit, I mean not a drill bit, let me get a drill and I'm going to put in here and I'll be right back with you. Okay, here is the drill that I'm using. It's a Hyper Tough, came from Walmart. I think it paid 20 bucks or so, 20, 25 bucks. The reason I'm using this one is to show you something that I had to find out the hard way. Now, Hyper Toughs can be found at, of course, like Walmart, and Walmarts are, almost everybody has access to Walmart these days. Now, it says on the package, on the box, that this will accept most drills. And I found that inaccurate. My drills, I had six different drills, was, was either too big, even if I adjusted the opening right here, was either too big or too small to clamp down on here. So I had to get this Walmart drill, and right here I had to put masking tape around here. 
make this one a little bit bigger so it could clamp in here. Now if you have to do this with your drill, make sure that the locking portion of your tool here is not taped onto this section. So I have one inch wide masking tape I had to cut in half and put on here. Kind of a pain, but you know, it is what it is. What do you expect for 20 bucks? 20 buck drill press. So, making sure that the tool is pushed down and seated in there all the way. Then, you'll tighten up this nut right here with your Allen wrench. So let's get that taken care of. Make sure that the drill is seated flat or properly in your housing. Tighten this up. There we go. Now I can still access down here on the bottom to tighten up my drill bits. So, anyway, that's how this machine works. It's not perfect. Not at all is it perfect. But, for doing the small jobs around your house, I don't think you can go wrong for 20 bucks. Now this deal here, it's just a clamp. Get these supplied nuts on here. And clamp it on here and device hold your piece in place pretty self-explanatory I don't think I really need to go over this I'll give you a closer up view of this push this down and you can move it a lot at one time or just turn the handle for our micro adjustments anyway pretty self-explanatory this is a nice feature that came with this so 20 bucks why not I think I'll get 20 bucks worth of use out of it not too bad my name is Carl and I do appreciate you being with us today